chill event meant to spread cheer and bring Christmas into the lives of those who may otherwise go without. We're talking about Toys for Joy, and it's underway right now. Our Tabitha Lipkin is live in Lincoln Park with how the event is a little different this year. Good morning, Tabitha. Good morning, Susanna and Chase. Yes, this year the event is different. You know why? Because it has expanded to three locations to bring even more toys and joy to children. Now, joining me right now is the leader of all this. This is Pastor Miles. This is something that you've been doing for 18 years. Now, this year you have those extra two locations. How is that going to help affect the lives of so many young people? Well, there are about 200,000 people living in poverty in San Diego, about 10,000 homeless people. We've been doing it 18 years down here in San Diego, and we have churches now in North County, East County, and San Isidro. So we expanded the event to reach more people around the county. That's incredible. And you can actually even see the line behind you. Now, how does it feel to see how many this many people line up? Well, it's a, it's, it's, I'm happy that they came, but it's also sad to think all the people that have such a great need in San Diego. And so we're just trying to do what little we can uh, to help people. We're going to have about uh, 17,000 toys, about 200,000 articles of clothing, about 15,000 bags of food. Um, and they're going to take all that for free. And then we're going to feed them as well. And then they're going to have a great time. We have a lot of activities. Uh, so the more we can do to help San Diego, the better. And let's talk a little bit about the entertainment that people can experience. You've got the Island Praise dancers yeah, here yeah. behind you. But what else is going on? Well, I'm going to get my hula on here in a minute after we do this. <laughs> but we have... We have uh, the drummers here, these kids that play these uh, these uh, garbage cans, but it's amazing music. We have dances, we have um, a lot of uh, Santa Claus here and a bunch of, all, um, uh, what, what do they call it, guys in costumes, yes. people in costumes. Uh, and then we have uh, free bike giveaway and a bunch of activities on the fields. Uh, and then the other events, I haven't been there, so I don't even know what they're going to do over there. I'm going to find out when I get there. I love that. And I understand, you know, you're obviously going to try to give as many toys to as many kids as possible. But if there's still a line and you're out of toys, someone told me that you guys go buy more toys to make sure everyone can get one. Well, no one ever walks away without a toy. We always end up with toys, but yes, right. I, I don't know if we've ever had to do that because we've always had enough toys. Uh, the people of our church community and other churches as well, City of Hope's here, Bayview's here, uh, people have chipped in tremendously. Macy's, I can't even tell you all the sponsors we've had, um, but every kid will get a toy, no doubt. And before I let you go, if, if the people at home want to be able to help, and maybe, you know, this Christmas maybe we're covered, but preparations for next Christmas are already underway, how can they help? You know, they can go to our website, sdrock.com, and search Toys for Joy, um, and they can always donate and buy toys online, but next year, uh, they can they can join us next year. This year, if they buy a toy, it'll be too late. But uh, we thank thank we want to thank all the people who have helped this year because we've had to trip not triple, but we have three events now. The other ones aren't as big as this, but uh, we've had a lot more need and it's grown. And we we th we think we're gonna have toys for everybody. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank Obviously, you. an incredible event, a lot of fun, high spirits here. The line is wrapped all the way around. And this morning, we're going to talk to some of those families that have been in line since 5 p.m. last night. They've lined up. Susanna and Chase? 5 p.m. last night. And so nice, through the rain. Nice, nice to see uh, that they're getting the, the help that they certainly need this time of year. Thank you for bringing that to us, Tabitha. All right, Tabitha. Well, the wild